What's the deal with James Madison? Is he the next Glenn Oddle, as Claude Puel seems to think? Or is he just some little diving bastard? You know, is he both? Was Glenn Oddle a diving bastard? These are the questions that we're trying to answer in this documentary. It's not really a documentary and it's not going to answer any questions. It's just basically a chance to talk about James Madison. He thinks he's, he thinks he's England calibre. Yeah, he thinks he can do that number 10 job for England. And I say, God bless him. Because there's one thing you're going to need to do that. It's a bit of confidence. But you need humility too. And you can't be diving all over the place. Just score them volleys like you did the other day. Listen, you're a Coventry boy. Yeah, Coventry. Got bombed in the war, didn't it? Um, So the people of Coventry are the hard-nosed. You know what I mean? I've got a friend from Coventry said it's a bit of a shithole, but I'm from I'm from Doncaster, so I know a thing or two about that. But shitholes, that's an economic problem. What you want to look at is the heart of the people and the Covertonians and the Donny boys, we've got good hearts. And James Madison, you've got a good heart, I think. You know, I haven't done a medical yet, but I mean Leicester signed you for something like twenty-five million, they would have done a check on your heartbeat, so you're probably in good nick. You can't play Premier League football unless you're in good nick, although some people did collapse and down the pitch, didn't they? Uh, over the years, a couple of people have done that, so you never know. But James Madison, you're 21 years of age, you're showing a bit of flair, and it's good to see. What we want to see from you now is to really kick on, as they say, and uh, start dominating games now. You know, you've had your little fucking mess around, dive in, you think you got contact, you're expecting contact, well contact didn't come did it, the only contact you got was your eyes contacting the red card as you walked off the pitch with a face like a slapped ass. so you've learnt your lesson, never assume, you make an ass out of you and an ass out of me and you made an ass out of the Leicester City fans by assuming you were going to get contact, you could have gone through and scored, that's the biggest shame when these people dive, like you did, you could have gone through You could have scored a goal for Leicester City. They need all the goals they can get at the moment. They're relying on Jamie Vardy penalties. You know, where's Harry Maguire? He hasn't been chipping in with the goals from defence, has he? I mean, at the end of the day, if you're going to let this sort of thing go on, Club Puel, this is a message to Club Puel now. Club Puel, if you're going to let this sort of thing go on, this lack of goal scoring, I know you're picking up the points. Don't get me wrong, you're picking up some good points. You're a top mid-table team. You're top of the mids. But come on, pull it together now, Club Puel. The Leicester City boys, the Foxes. You know, some great men have come up through Leicester City. Peter Shilton, Peter Shilton, who else? Gary Lineker, Muzzy Izzet, Steve Guppy. You know, you're a, you're a fine club. So don't let the name get tarnished, James Madison. You do the good things, don't do the bad things. Thanks you very much. That's football, thanks a lot.